and for all new artists, please be present in that moment because it, it does escape you and you'll be trying to get it back forever. So Feeling so lucky and blessed that the fear of losing it keeps you up at night. I don't want to be number two. I think that would be a weird thing to sit here and say. Maybe I don't have to be the next Ye or I don't have to be the next Wayne. I could just be the first Drake. I have to push it as far as I possibly can. If, if this person can do this, I can do this too. And I think a big thing that changed my music too was art support. I think I had things in my mind that I wanted to accomplish. Mm -hmm. um, I think I had the utmost faith in myself mm -hmm. and a lot of confidence in myself. I don't necessarily know if I ever s saw it going like this far. I think initially my goal, my goal was was just to, to be uh, a protege that didn't flop. You know, I just wanted mm. to be somebody that was like remotely as important as my mentor. I don't want to be number two. I, I think that would be a weird thing to sit here and say, or I don't care, you know, I, I, I want to, I want to make, I want to make this, this city proud, you know, uh, that, that's, that's a main reason for me. But now it just, it, it gives me a chance to really accept that I am, I am something different. I am something new. Um, and and now it's just uh, I see it more as an opportunity to really be like, well, maybe I don't have to be the next Ye or I don't have to be the next Wayne. I could just be the first Drake. That things that I repetitively think about or say, I'm able to manifest. Hmm. Like you know, this house, for example, I manifested this because I obsessively used to take my uncle's Audi, and I used to take a girl to Young and Eglinton, Silver City, to the movies. Mm -hmm. And then I used to go tell her, like, yo, you, you want to go see where I'm going to live one day? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. this is where I'm going to live one day. And I, my uncle had the Audi drop, and I used to drive these same three streets right here. That used to be my route right there. Used, you know, out of all the things that people will say about me, I was never affected by the whole, like, ah, oh, you know, this is soft or this is yeah. e emotional or whatever. Because I was just kind of like, I, I mean, I, I guess I just make music for, like, dusty guys and shit. <laughs> but, like, that's just not really, like, what right. inspires me, you know? The, the realization that it's possible was extremely important. Mm. Uh, I don't credit myself for anything other than that. If, if this person can do this, I can do this too, you know? So, I mean, it's just about, it's just about quality, man, and just taking pride in yourself, you know, and, and having an ear. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of artists don't even know when they sound wrong or off. I, I don't really celebrate the wins. I don't sulk over the negative. I just keep it moving. If you have the music, that's all it takes. Present it to the world, and the world will tell you if it's worth their time or not. And um, just for anyone watching this that's wondering how this happened, you know, that's really the answer. It's, um, it's being so unsure how you're getting it done that you just, you just kind of keep going in the hopes of figuring out the formula. Um, just feeling so lucky and blessed that the fear of losing it keeps you up at night. I've sacrificed so much for it already and dedicated so much of my time that um, I have to push it as far as I possibly can because I've uh, given up a lot of years. I always want more. Um, I'm, for some reason, like ready to go back and start working on new music. You know, it's, it's, it's everything I always wanted. It's, 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 it's what I work tirelessly for and um, relentlessly, you know, just constantly trying to, you know, create, stay stay refreshing, stay consistent, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. learning the right amount of time to take off. You know, at the end of the day, I, I can't just keep doing the same thing over and over again, because one, you'll get used to it and then you'll be over it. And two, for me, it's like, you know, I want, I want, to, I want to try my hand at something. And yeah. I used to rap like Button back in the day, mm. um, like what, just like with the way I used to try and get like certain flows off. Yeah. And then, you know, when, when I met Wayne, I realized that the goal was to like get bars off, but also have these catchy nuances that people um, that people can grasp onto. Right. And I think a big thing that changed my music too was understanding the performance element. Mm. So to watch what records work on tour for Wayne, or to start doing my own mm. shows and see, okay, like cool, you know, like I do love to make you know R and B music, slow music, melodic music, but 
like, man, it feels good to have one of those slappers. Like, it feels good to have people screaming, screaming those words back at you and they start moshing and they start yeah. going crazy. And, and, you know, again, your appetite starts to grow and, and yeah. R&B music or be songs like Best I Ever Had, you know, yeah. aren't, aren't enough to satisfy the palate. Yeah. You want more, you know, yeah. you want to tap into to different things. I think less than the dollar value, it's just more about um, the idea of growth and business, business mindset. Um, it really had to spread from word of mouth. Yeah. You know, it, it really, you know, it was, it was still people playing the CD in their car. Yeah. And it was that whole, who is this moment, which is, by the way, the best moment for any artist in music, you know. You think don't, even today? It's still yeah, fresh. don't ever, don't ever not, like, just be present in your who is this moment, because mm -hmm. you're going to be chasing that who is this moment for the rest of your career, wow. trying to keep people as interested as they were when they felt like they were one of the only people listening to you. For all new artists, please be present in that moment, because it, it does escape you, and you'll be trying to get it back forever, so. Anybody that knows me knows that my strongest talent is writing. That is my strongest talent. I'm not a great singer. Uh, I'm a great, I'm a good performer. I've grown into a great performer. Mm -hmm. um, but my greatest talent is writing, you know? And that's why people ask me to write songs for them. That's why people like to get in the room and write with me. And yeah, I want to just encourage anybody, like, look, if it makes a great song, and you're the one that's voicing it, but it's you and this other person that's cooking it up. You're, you're not doing anything wrong, you know? And that's like a, just, again, for me speaking to any new artist, like, don't let anybody tell you that you're not supposed to collaborate on you. you that's, that's what this is for. We should, you know, whatever, whatever gets you to that destination where you have, you know, a great body of work. If you need somebody to write the whole thing and all you do is just go in and track it, there's still artists that, that exist like that to this day that people love and revere and they sell out stadiums. But for me, I take my time, I write, um, and I, it's just about me getting my thoughts out. You know, Wayne told me something really important one day. I told him, I said, how do you find those thoughts so quick? He said, it's not about making things up. You don't have to worry about making things up. If you're really writing from an honest perspective, your thoughts are in there. You just have to locate them. You know, I just take a little more time. I write in my Blackberry and I go online to research things like if I need to, you know, I, I take my time. I'm not really one of those rappers that prides himself on like, oh, I did 50 songs tonight. You know, it's like I can do two verses, not finish the song and feel proud. I mean, to each their own, you know, you gotta do what works for you. It's a creative process, man. That's what it's about. You know, it's an individual creative process. It shouldn't be about there's no standard, like you don't have to not write to be a good rapper. So, I mean, as soon as you understand that and you, you get comfortable with yourself, like I don't care, I'll pull my phone out in front of anybody and start writing and say, yo, I gotta go and check this website or do, I don't, you know, like, cause I know that when I come with that verse, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, that's why it took, you know, two hours and, and you had to, you know, you needed the wireless internet hooked up. Oh, that's why. All these guys, man, that are like, you gotta go to New York and make it happen. No, you don't, man. That's dead now. Do it the way The weekend did it. Do it the way Party Next Door did it. Do it the way I did it, you know? Do it from where you're at.